You're welcome. Um, smell. Humans have about 10 million smell receptors in the roof of our nasal cavity, and uh, dogs have about 200 million. So as, as far as smell goes, we are um, less dependent on it than other animals are. However, it's still a very important sense for us. And I'm going to kind of flip the order of stuff around. Instead of talking about stimulus and receptors first, I'm going to go right to the experience of smell. And there are two things I want to kind of highlight. Um, one is the role of smell. It's a very primitive sense and closely tied to um, the different aspects of our brain um, tied into survival. Um, it's connected to kind of gut reactions. Um, we have strong emotional and unconscious responses to smells and that has to do with um, the tendency for us to learn which objects in the environment or which events we need to avoid and are dangerous to us or harmful and which of those we uh, like and want to um, be connected with. Um, so the thing to remember with smell is um, in terms of pathways and in terms of its function um, it is strongly connected to unconscious behavior and uh, emotion and emotional memory. Things we kind of associate with either something that makes us feel awful or something that makes us feel good, um, kind of unthinking reactions. Um, the other thing that I want to talk about with um, smell is its uniqueness. Uh, out of all the senses, it has two things about it that are very different from the others. The first is it's difficult to categorize. Um, unlike taste, which we only have four or five taste senses, the researchers have had really no luck in categorizing or systematically identifying the types of smells. They tried to come up with, you know, flowery or savory smell, and it just there are too many, and they've been we've been unable to describe what a smell is like in any kind of systematic way. So that, um, if you tried to do that and say um, what a smell is, you can do that with taste. This is a sweet taste. This is a salty taste. It's much harder to do that with smell. Um, and the other thing that's unique about it is its pathway. It's the only sense that isn't rooted through the thalamus. It goes directly to the brain. Um, through the olfactory bulb and then on to other areas. Okay, um, another thing about smell are pheromones. Pheromones are chemical substances that are secreted by uh, non-human animals and they are a form of communication. They trigger specific reactions usually in the same species. Um, things like parent-child identification through smell, uh, sexual signals, uh, availability and interest, um, territorial boundary markers, and limits on aggression and even prompts toward aggression. Those are all um, kind of chemical communications that happen between animals um, through the olfactory sense. And with humans, it is clear that people react psychologically to human odors, um, but it's there's a lot of disagreement about their role in sexual attraction. Um, the kind of mainstream thinking or conventional thinking is that um, sexual attraction is related to the smell of other humans, but that hasn't been uh, definitively figured out. Um, what is clear is that like I said, people do react psychologically to the odors of others. Um, for ex As just one example, infants can identify their mothers within just a few weeks of life by scent alone. Um, on to kind of the sensation part of it, detection, transduction, pathway. Uh, the stimulus is, of course, um, are, are the molecules that 
of the different particles that waft into our nose from um, other objects. And so that's the stimulus is really chemical energy, just like with taste. The receptor are the olfactory receptor cells in the olfactory epithelium in the upper wall of the nasal cavity. Um, and you can see that right there. Um, from there, the pathway is pretty interesting. Um, goes in very short distance. Those cells are c c connected directly, those nerve cells, to uh, the olfactory bulb. We have two olfactory bulbs that sit right under the frontal lobe and over the nasal cavity and behind the eye. Um, this is an enlarged version of it. Here are those nerve fibers. Um, the olfactory receptor cells and they connect directly to the olfactory bulb. The um, olfactory bulb goes, sorry about that, goes um, to a couple of places. Um, to the olfactory cortex, uh, which if you kind of peel away the frontal lobe and the temporal lobe uh, sits right here um, as part of the temporal lobe um, inside and that's as I don't know if I should do that picture but that's where the gustatory cortex ends up and then the um, olfactory bulb also connects to the limbic system and I didn't put a diagram of that on there but you should from past units and talking about it earlier in the this unit, I believe, um, be aware of where the limbic system is, and that's kind of inside this whole thing, um, especially the amygdala, where emotion and emotional memories reside. Um, and that is all I've got for that. Pretty short. Um, have a good evening. I will see you in class.